And happening now, Mama Louise Hudson's birthday celebration is underway. She's known as the Mama of Southern Rock. So what better way to celebrate than with, of course, a concert? I mean, it's only fitting. New Absolutely. at 10, WGXA's Daniela Pulinar. And breaking news in Washington, D.C., the White House now has a new chief of staff. Ryan's Priebus will be replaced by General John Kelly. We'll bring you updates on air and online as this story develops. Some changes could be coming to a program that helps veterans and their families pay for college. WGXA's Matt Thilke joins us in studio. Happening now, the Bibb Sheriff's Office is looking for a group of men who carjacked a driver and forced him into his own trunk. Deputies tell us 28-year-old Adrian Robinson was visiting a relative at the College Park Apartments. While he was sitting in his Honda Accord, he was approached by a man asking for a lighter. That's when the man, joined by four other men, jumped into Robinson's Honda. With the start of the school year approaching, school leaders want to remind parents and students about the importance of attendance. Assistant Superintendent Jamie Cassidy says this is a big problem in the county. A middle Georgia staple for family-style soul food dodged a disaster. A fire broke out in a dry storage unit behind Buckner's restaurant in Butts County overnight. Continuing coverage at the half hour and happening now when Roe County's water boil advisory is still in effect and it's starting to affect local business owners as well. WGXA's Daniela Polinar joins us live. Uh, that's a lot of, mm, it's a lot of mm, yeah. that. Mm. <laughs> Time to go? Yeah. No, Time to go. <laughs> Bring a book or a magazine. That's it for WGXA News at 5. Thanks for tuning in. Tune in for our next newscast tonight at 10 right here on Fox 24. Family Feud's up next. Have a great night. As you just heard, the latest projections show Irma taking a turn up the East Coast. In terms of weather impact in middle Georgia, we can expect some more rain and wind come early next week. Isolated severe weather can't be ruled out, but the greater impacts are on the east side of the storm. Here's a look at where Irma is right now. And here's where Irma may be by the end of the weekend. You see Category 5 hurricane may be dropping off to a Category 4 by Friday afternoon. And then after that Category 4 there, you can see possibly taking a northward turn towards Florida, and that's what has many people in the United States very worried right now about a possibility that Irma takes a northward spin and comes up towards the Florida coast. Expect us here in middle Georgia. Yeah, it may, Raymond. Even if Irma doesn't hit Georgia directly come this weekend, you could see evacuees from Florida driving to Georgia for refuge and even a sizable amount of rain and weather change. As preparations continue here in the United States, that preparation time is over in San Juan, Puerto Rico. That's where we go live right now, thanks to our friends at Live Storms Media. See the waves crashing over just about an hour ago. It did not look this bad and foreboding. In fact, it was still a little bit lighter shot than this, and the waves weren't coming up nearly as far. But the wind, you see them moving the palm trees in the back here. All right, biggest hit of the first half. That's what yours truly takes coming. Intro. Oh, no. Oh boy, well let's end in the highlights. All right, nice dump off here from Donald Lamb. His running back scampers upfield for a nice first. That's number 14 for the Chargers right there. Next play, go ahead and finish it off, young fella. Right up the gut, nice blocking into the end zone. And then how about next possession? Lamb trying to do it again, lead them down the field? Nah. He overshoots his wide out into the arms of Howard's Jaquan Jackson. Great field position for the Huskies. And that means their quarterback's going to sneak it in for six, just right up the gut. And the Husco gang is all about this one and out in force. There they are, Mason Prince. Running back, Jeremiah Kelly, he's pretty good. You should watch out for this guy. Just a sophomore, but real shifty, juking his way into the end zone for another Husky touchdown. But Lamb and Central would strike back with some key passes. This one down the sideline. This game picked up. Final score, actually, Howard over Central, 41-37. Howard with an onside kick recovery and touchdown. <laughs> Taking his last walk by the west side practice field, this is Rollo Chester. His coach, Spoon Risper, calls him a leader, a friend, and even a comedian, but most importantly, uh, he, he was a football player from day one, no questions asked. The starting long snapper to be exact. Since Rollo was a little kid, he had one goal. I want to play football, go to the NFL. field. So I'm going to stay, stay focused, you know, try to win the game. What you may not know is Rollo has been deaf since he was two. Cochlear implants help him hear and communicate. I think that he's inspired a lot of kids. Uh, a lot of kids without disabilities look up to, to Rollo. Rollo earned a scholarship to play college football at Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., all because he won't give up. I never give up. 
Let me get one. Rollo will graduate from Westside High with honors later this month. He taught me to believe in myself. You know, that because um, there were tough times during school where both of us just felt like throwing our hands up, and um, he didn't, and he would keep me going. Life challenges kept stacking up for Rollo in high school. His mom lost his baby brother during her eighth month of pregnancy in 2015. So Rollo came up with his own way to honor him. Every single football game, he would write on his arm, rest in peace, baby brother Karsten. That really melts my heart. And that really meant something to the whole entire family because it was special. An inspiring person off the field with talent on the field to match. Yeah. You're going to be my superstar, right? I will. Okay. Ready? Seminole, Seminole. Seminole's on three, Seminole's on three. One, two, three, Seminole! Seminole.